Hello, welcome to our doctor's office. My name is Dr. Steph, and I've heard that you're not feeling very well with your stomach. You've got a bit of a stomach ache, okay? Well, why don't you just tell me some of your symptoms, some of the things that you've been experiencing, and then we can go ahead and help you with some of those discomforts that you're experiencing right now, so that you can get feeling better quickly. Does that sound okay? Okay, great. What are some of the things that you've been experiencing? Okay. Where's most of the pain coming from? Your lower stomach area? Oh, and the upper, so kind of all over your abdomen area. Okay. Have you had any sort of heartburn? Any acid reflux? Okay. Have you had this type of stomach ache before? Okay, tell me a little bit about when it happened the last time. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything that you have eaten recently that you think might be contributing? Do you have any allergies, any food intolerances that you're aware of? Okay. And have you tried anything so far, or have you tried anything in the past that has helped with the stomach ache? Okay. We can definitely help with that. It sounds like you have tried a couple just over-the-counter medicines. You've tried some antacid symptoms that haven't really helped that much. Everything we do here in our clinic is very natural. We really focus on just those helpful remedies that can actually deeply, deeply heal your body. That way you're not just relying on these temporary fixes from these medications. Sound okay? Alright, let me just take a look at your chart here. I see that you have been into the office before, so let's just do a couple of our routine checkups. Let me just check your heart rate and your blood pressure and your lungs and make sure everything's all good. Okay. Now go ahead and just take a deep breath in. Good. Take a deep breath in again and out. Good. Your heart and lungs sound great. Alright, so now let's go ahead and do your blood pressure as well. to just hand me your arm. over 65. Alright, for you that's normal, so that's good. Alright, and it says here on your chart that you have come in for a stomach kick before, and it sounds like what we tried last time did help, but you're still experiencing some more symptoms. Okay, we'll definitely give you some more plans, some more treatments that you can 
do now to just immediately reduce those symptoms, but you can also take these home with you so you can feel better in the long run. So, one of the things that's important to note with stomach aches is that different stomach aches can be caused by different things. Sometimes the foods that you eat can affect it, but it sounds like from your history, it may not be a food issue. But what I can do for you is I want to make sure that that stomach ache can go away while you're with us. You're not having to just wait. So I did get some ginger here, some ground ginger, and steeping this tea for you. And when it's all done, then we can give that to you. We can start to alleviate some of that pain, reduce some of the intensity for you. Okay. It's just ginger, and it has a few other special herbs that we've mixed in with it to just quickly reduce that discomfort that you have in your stomach. Okay. different exercises with you, okay? And I'm also going to give you a little massage on your abdomen. can just kind of help to reduce some of that pain, some of the tension, some of the inflammation in that area. Help your body just to start to relax so it's not causing you so much pain and discomfort, okay? Alright, just going to rub down um, in circular motions on your abdomen, okay? Just let me know if you feel any pressure, any discomfort, abnormal discomfort when I press on each area, okay? Feel anything there? Just normal pain, okay? Do you feel anything there? Just the normal discomfort? That's good. Let's just know there's not something acutely wrong with one of your organs, just general stomach pain. It's more safe. And while I'm massaging your abdomen, I want to talk you through some exercises you can do at home that can help to relieve some of that pressure on your stomach and on your abdomen area, okay? So what you can do is if you're having that discomfort, find a soft place to lay down on the ground. It could be your carpet, it could be a yoga mat, and just lay down on your back. And then I want you to pull your knees up towards your stomach and just gently hold them towards you. You can stick your hands um, behind your thighs instead of pulling on your knees. It's a little bit more gentle on your legs and on your knees. Just pull those legs gently towards you and you can try rocking back and forth gently or you can just lay there as you do. I'm going to focus on taking these deep breaths deep breaths out and just do that for five ten minutes and that can help if you have some pressure caused by gas in the abdomen by air in the abdomen then that can help to really just relieve some of that pressure in your abdomen it helps your body to sort of flow properly it can be very helpful Let's go ahead and just practice a breathing exercise right now to help reduce some of that discomfort as well, okay? So 
I want you to put one hand on your stomach and then one hand on your chest and as you do, take a deep breath in Notice where your hands are moving, which hand is moving, okay? I want you to try focusing on getting the hand on your chest to not move and the hand on your belly, that one should move so when you take a deep breath in, your belly should expand and when you breathe out, your belly should contract It's a way of using your breath to massage your stomach also do these deeply relaxing and deeply healing belly breaths that can reduce the stress and the tension that may be causing the stomach ache. Do you feel like you have a lot of stress that you've been going through lately? Okay, I understand. That can be a huge contributor to these stomach aches. Well, it looks like your tea is ready, so let's go ahead and give you that so that you can start to experience more of that relief, okay? Alright, it's gonna take a little bit. Good. Alright, there's some more. There you go. Very good. There you go. There you go. I hope you're starting to feel a little bit of relief now, now that you've got a little bit of that, the ginger in your stomach. Okay. Now, how are you doing right now? You still have a little bit of stomach pain? Okay. Well, I do have some more herbs that I can mix together for you that are very powerful but also very natural that can continue to help to see that. Would you like a little bit of that? Okay, let me mix that together. Sorry, it tastes a little bit strong, but these are very powerful and will definitely help you feel better. Okay. Right, let's just do one more bite, okay? Good. Alright, would you like a little bit of drink just to help wash that down? Okay, here you go.
How is that feeling now? Now it can take just a little bit of time for that to rub in, for the herbs to start working, but that should definitely start working within five to ten minutes. You'll start to feel a little bit more of that relief, okay? Now, I don't want to send you home just totally uncomfortable, so for the next five to ten minutes, while are settling into your stomach and starting to work, starting to help your body relax. I'll just do some gentle massages for you to help you work through some progressive relaxation as well, okay? I can just really help to relieve any of that tension and stress that might be contributing to your stomach pain. massaging your shoulders, but we're going to start thinking about starting at your feet and just taking deep breaths and releasing the tension in each part of your body, okay? So as I'm massaging your shoulders, I want you to take a deep breath in and out. Now, as you breathe in and out, think about your feet. As you breathe out, just release any tension in your feet. Good. Now, as you breathe in, think about your calves or your lower legs. As you breathe out, completely release any tension in your calves. The muscles around that area. Now as you breathe in, pull your thoughts up past your knee to your thighs, to your upper legs, and then as you breathe out, completely release any tension or stress in your thighs, your upper legs. Okay, very good. Now as you breathe in, think about your hips, and as you breathe out, release any tension in the muscles around your hips. And now as you breathe in, think about your upper back. And completely release any tension from your lower back as you breathe out. Very good. And now as you breathe in, completely release any tension in your upper back. Remember to first think about your upper back and then breathe out and release any tension in your upper back and those muscles. Now on your shoulders. Ready? Think about your shoulders as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Completely relax any tension in your shoulders. If you need to, you can Completely release any tension in your shoulders. Very good. Now think about your upper arms as you breathe in and as you breathe out. Just completely release any tension in your upper arms. Very good. Now as you breathe in, focus on arms, your lower arms, your forearms. And as you breathe out, completely release any tension in your forearms. As you breathe in, focus on your hands and on your fingers. As you breathe out, completely release any tension in your hands and in your fingers. Your shoulders are still completely relaxed. And then we will focus on your neck and on your chin, on our jawline. We tend to hold a lot of tension in our jaws. So as you breathe in, think about your jaw and your neck. As you breathe out, completely release any tension in your jaw. Now as you breathe in, focus on your cheeks. 
you breathe out, completely release any tension in your face, in your cheeks. Now focus on your eyes and on your forehead as you breathe out, completely release any tension in your forehead and in your eyes. Very good. Now do one last check on your toes, breathing up to the top of your head, and as you breathe out, Release all the tension from your head down to your toes. Very good. Okay. Now that your body is fully relaxed, you are fully receptive to the herbs that are coming into your body and they can fully use their healing properties to heal your body and relax your stomach. And I hope that this stomach ache does not keep coming back for you, but if it does, you now have the tools to completely relax and heal that stomach, and I will send you home with those herbs as well, okay? You can take these home with you. If you need more, you can always come back to our office. But those are for you to take home with you. If you have this same stomach ache again, remember to practice those exercises that we discussed. Completely relax. Hope that you get feeling better. Best of luck. I'll see you next.